so good. Dead straight. Need a little bit. Welcome back to part two. We are on hole number 16. We are just climbing away right next to the ocean. And we got JC, we got Beeski, and of course the big cat flying the drone. And then we got Daniel Sun helping us out, killing it. These are some of the best views on the north. Right here, last hole is their signature hole. You can see the cove. Coach, working the glutes. You are activating it right now. That's spectacular right there. Woo! All right, we are in hole 16. It's a par four. It's 388 yards. It's a hard dog leg to the right. Uh, you guys can see it kind of bend all the way up the hill and uh, just through those trees along the cart path is uh, where the hole's gonna be. Uh, there is just some cliffs and some hazard to the left, but uh, I think it's just gonna be an easy driver hole. All uphill, uh, I've got trees blocking my whole line of sight. Um, I'm gonna play a risky shot right here. I'm gonna try and take a little chippy five iron and swoop it on around and uh, see if I can uh, get it anywhere near the green. He's got this just absolutely massive tree right here. The slot that he's looking at going through is that window right there over the stump and something over the stump below those trees will probably be on the green or right around it. Uh, he hit it right through that slot. Nip the tree, but I think it's gonna—he's gonna be fine. Wow, <laughs> that was pretty good, dude. <laughs> I got 138 left. Uh, that's with slope, and we got a little bit of wind for coming off the ocean. So I'm gonna just take a nice pitching wedge, try to smoothie it up there towards the pin, and then if it draws over from the wind, it should just be middle of the green. Big Cat pulled it just a little bit to the right. Wind's kind of got it, but distance control looks good. Yeah, could be good. And we got some fresh bag tags for you guys in the store. Golfholics.com. Swoop one up. All right, Bisky hit one right up here. He got a great kick. Bounced out to the left. He's got about 115 to the flag right up the hill. A little left of the flag. Mm. Yeah, that's a good shot right there with some sauce on it. it looks like Justin just kind of chipped out from back there. He was probably jailed by that tree. Um, guessing he's got like 100 yards left or so. He's right next to where uh, Brian just hit from. So we'll see. Everything's feeding back from the screen, so it slopes from back to front. And um, if you put some spin on it, like you guys just saw with Brian's, it's gonna it's gonna zip back. I do not see it. Hopefully it's okay. There you go. A little tour sauce spun back. He's probably got about a 30 footer or so. Coach ended up nipping the tree over there, so he's gonna be, I think, right where Daniel is, roughly with like a little 60 yarder left, and uh, see if we can get up and down. Ooh, Coach with a nice shot. It might come back off this hill. Maybe, maybe, it's trying. All right, not bad. And that's me right uh, just past the pin. Got maybe a 15 footer or so. Oh, 
right, good par. We're taking it all the way back today. <laughs> they literally don't, do not have any tees further back than these right here. But you are rewarded with a beautiful view of the ocean behind you. All right guys, this part five is 520 yards. Playing a little bit downwind, but you guys can see we're dealing with a bunch of uh, hazard over here to the left. So the more you bite off, uh, the more likely that your ball's gonna end up in that stuff. So just wanna kind of play it smart, go out to the right over there at those bunkers, maybe a little bit right of them. And uh, we'll see what we got in from there. Is that the line for us short knockers? That's where I've been <laughs> It's actually okay over there. Oh, the ball. All right, pushed the driver over here a little bit. Um, was trying to put a little extra on it and ended up just kind of cutting across it and uh, hitting right. So I, saw, I only got 229 left here, so I'm gonna just take a little hybrid, aim well right at this thing and see if I can cut it on up in there. Oh, I hit this one perfect. Just a little bit right of the pin, kind of leaking a little. And yeah, right in front of the green, probably about 10 yards short of the pin, and a uh, good shot. What happened to the drone, coach? I got shut down. One of the uh, super tents came out and told us we gotta get authorization for it, so we're gonna have to put it away for a little bit. <laughs> I'm just going to hit a little driving iron, choke down on it, miss it to the right, and uh, give myself a good chance to get up and down. Hit a nice one there, started uh, just right, like you said, and drawn back a tiny bit. It's going to be, looks like it might be in the right rough, right of the green. So I got uh, 205 left, I'm just going to see if I can knock a 5 iron on the green. Oh, no. Got a little heavy going left. Should be over. All right, good drive here in the rough though. Uh, 200, go right at the flag. Started out right at the green, drawn over a little bit. A little bit short. Looks like we got this thing surrounded, not on the green. This is coach right in front of me. Got JC right there, just came up a little bit short. I as well came up a little bit short. We're gonna have a little chip off here for a hundred bucks. Is that agreeable, JC? Hundred dollar chip? Oh, five. five. <laughs> I got a tough angle, actually. We got this little knob right here. It's gonna all kick off of that. I might even putt this. Brian's in the crappiola, but he's, uh, he found his ball. Don't know what kind of lie he's got. He's looking behind him, so I'm guessing he's standing on something suspect. Went right over us. He's gonna be chipping too. All right, here comes coach. Oh, man. Chunky. Nice, good recovery right there. About a six footer. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and not chip on. All right, <laughs> making a mess up of the soul. Our short game is uh, not quite where it needs to be. Okay, not bad. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Those were not our best efforts. All right, we got a fun par four here. It's pretty straight ahead, 450 yards or so. And as you guys can see, we got just a big tree over there on the left that you definitely want to avoid. Uh, fairly big fairway here. We got someone coming off the right, just pushing everything to the left. And uh, this hole is pretty straightforward. What you see is what you get.
192. <laughs> I'm gonna hit a five iron out of this rough. Hopefully I can get it around the corner here with this tree. Got a little fat. I don't know. Got a phenomenal driver over here to the left for us. I got 220 yards left. Not feeling great with the driver today, but it's all right. You can miss out here. You can spray it a little bit. Just kind of depends on what kind of light you're gonna get in here. Got 215 left, gonna go with a hybrid. Gonna aim for the right side of the green. If it cuts over, it should be all right. And if it stays on that line, it should be all right. I'll just get, I just wanna give myself a good angle. If I have to chip up anything to the left of it, I'm gonna bring that bunker into play and it's just gonna be a tougher shot. Oh, I kind of squirted on him a little bit to the left, going towards that bunker. Oh, it just splashed it. Okay. It might have got out though. Big splash of rooster. <laughs> about the size of the splash uh, when I jump in with a cannonball into a pool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got like 220. Uh, push it to the right. I'm just going to try and swoop it around and uh, get it anywhere on the green. Caught that heavy. I think it's going to find the fairway though. Yeah, I think he's in the fairway. This rough is no joke, guys. I mean, it's thick. Yeah. And uh, if you catch it just a tad heavy, it sticks and it does not go far. I probably only hit that 170 yards. All right, drop out the fairway. I got 162 to the green. Started out just to the left of the pin. Wind's got it a little bit. It's coming down. Uh, tough to tell. All right, we got Coach back there in the fairway. He probably has about 60 yards or so. And the pin you guys are about to see in a second is like tucked back here. Beautiful little shot. Counts up. It's all over it. This is, oh, no spin. No spin. All right, just kind of rolled out on him. He's got a, about a 15 footer. We got JC right here. Looks like he's on the green. About a 25, 30 footer up the hill. And then Beast Key was a little bit short down there to the left. He's gonna probably have about a 70 footer. And I think I'm over here in this bunker. And we'll see what kind of lie I got. Spin on it. It's got about 30 feet. Yeah, yeah. Sculpting it. We're gonna show you how we get a round back on track right here. Regular Regular. Regular. You're going grapefruit fruit? Love the grapefruit. Hey, I'm not judging. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just a little bit. You don't have to pay if you don't get your wallet out fast enough. That's right, you just slow roll it. How would you assess the round so far, JC? This last two holes, terrible, <laughs> terrible. But other than that, pretty good. Good weather, great day. Can't complain. That's right. Cheers, let's turn this uh, backside around. Yeah. Let's do this. Ah, uh, the billion <laughs> dollar beer. So delicious. Tastes worth every penny. All right, just made the turn. We started on 10, so this is hole number one out here at Torrey Pines North Course. About 410 yards. Wind is definitely picking up off the left, off the ocean. As you guys can see, we got bunkers up on the left-hand side and uh, pretty straight, straight ahead hole. The pin looks like it's cut on the right-hand side, so you do not want to go right here. It's gonna leave for a pretty tough shot in there with the trees hanging over. Damn, son. Hey, Big Cat. You know the only thing better than one beer is two. Duble. Oh, I'm gonna put a little out. pump of whiskey in this one. Yeah? Cheers. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, we're playing cart golf. Maybe we should pair up. Wow, that's pretty bad, B. <laughs> <laughs> that's right of me. God awful. <laughs> Push that uh, pretty far to the right. I'm right next to B. I got 161. I'm gonna try and hit an eight iron up and over this big old tree and uh, get it on the green. Oh, you got it up, no problem. Headed uh, for middle of the green, it looks like. That's the highest eight iron I've ever seen my brother hit. Oh, nice. He's on the dance Dude. floor. Beautiful shot. 
Just trying to get off that struggle bus right now with all the bogeys. <laughs> all right, B's about the same. He's got uh, about 165. He's got the Ocho. I think he's a little fat. Let's see if we can get it there. I don't know. Did Short get there. Justin's kind of stymied by this uh, gum tree right here. I think he's just going to punch out, try to get as close to the front edge as possible. Punched out, Ruff got the hosel of the club, turned it over, and he's heading towards a bunker. We are not playing kart golf right now. <laughs> he's spraying it left, I'm spraying it right. All right, I got about 185 left. I'm gonna just go with the six iron, try to keep it under this tree, and uh, just gonna go for right side of the green. Oh, I hit it really well, right at the pin. Should be good. Yeah, well done. All right, Marco hit a really good one, just ran through just a little bit. He's in the uh, second cut right there. Uh, I've got about a 25 footer just past the pin right there. And B, I think caught it a little heavy. Came up just short of the bunker. I oh, chunked it. Oh, got on, okay. Actually not bad. Worked out. Okay, and then I think Justin pulled his, he's on the other side of the bunker. Just on the outside, I think. Hit it, hit it. Yeah, well done. Oh. Okay. Cut. Mm. Good effort. Oh, yeah. good up and down right there. Well Woo. done. Man, putter, hair bug. putter around the greens has just been the play, right? Yeah, I think so, man. Some of these uh, some of these holes are cut super tight, and you got some, some grass that that you can really get the wedge caught up in. So <laughs> <laughs> I saw these guys make the mistake a couple times, and yeah, I've been messing like with it. a little bit of this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just real sticky. It. All right, so they're calling the second, third, and fourth hole out here, the, the group of them, the undertow. And uh, apparently these holes are some of the you know toughest three holes uh, out here. And as you guys can see, number two, 496, 241 par three, 479 par four. So if you get out of here at even par, it's gonna be like a little miracle for us. The, obviously the pros struggle with it and uh, see what we can do here. Beesky, you ready for the undertow? Bring it, baby. I got a little sculpin in me now, so back is gonna get loose. That's right. I'm tired of playing bad. Let's go. You ready for the undertow? You got your swing good juice in? My swing juice? Yeah, swing good juice. <laughs> swing good juice. <laughs> All right, so from where we're playing it, it's only 430. Still pretty tough hole, uh, wind coming off the left. And uh, as you guys can see, it's gonna be turning to the left. Really, this is a, this is all about the second shot on here because I think the green is just surrounded by bunkers and uh, all kinds of trouble around it. So we'll see what we got coming in. Nice, compact swing. Perfect. That's what I like to do. <laughs> right over it, buddy. <laughs> Three left out of the rough here to the right. Got a decent angle, so I'm gonna see if I can get one. Oh, it's right at it if he's got the right. Got about the same yardage as on the last hole. Missing the fairways out here is really penal, so that's what I'm discovering uh, about 10 holes into it. I'm gonna go with the six iron. We're gonna go from middle of the green and uh, see if we can just make a nice easy part. Oh, he caught this one really well. It's drawn over just a little bit. And I uh, just came up right in front, probably about five yards short of the green, but uh, good position. That uh, that rough was really sticky. All right, hit that drive pretty good. I got 166 left, uh, first cut. Um, just gonna hit a little smooth eight iron middle of the green. God, he clipped that perfect. Started middle of the green and staying in the middle of the green. Just drawn right in there. 
All right, good distance control on the dance floor. All right, we got three on the green. Closest to us is uh, me right here. Uh, went a little bit long and then B and Justin hit one right next to each other. They got about 20, 25 feet. And then the big cat is just in front of the green and uh, he's gonna elect to putt it, which he's been doing great all day with it. Uh, up and down machine. Nice yeah. part, dude. Well done. I just walked up to where the tee boxes were. B gave me the whistle, told me to just go ahead and hike it on back. And even though there's no tee boxes out here, we're gonna just take take the full beat down. Probably hitting three wood from back here. So where you were at was 183. Where yeah. this is is 241. <laughs> Into the wind. I mean, I might hit driver. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is long. Oh, yeah, this is gonna Let's be do fun. It. <laughs> do it. Looks like a short part four from back here. Uh, 241, like B said, straight into the wind. Big bunker up there on the left, and uh, just would be stoked to be anywhere around the green, let alone on it. So good. Dead straight. Stayed a little bit. I didn't see a lift. Oh, Big Cat pumped this one. It's just a little bit right of the pin. I don't know if it's enough. It's 240 into the wind. Oh, that looked pretty good. But it did look good. JC with a long iron. I don't think he's got a chance of getting there, but the guy always surprises me with uh, how hard and far he hits it. We got Danielson over here just taking it real easy. <laughs> Oh, Justin nuked it, pulled it though, heading towards the bunker. Might be a little bit left of it. That's me right there, guys. Oh, wow. Beast key was down there. Was an a uh, Mike hit a driver and went just a little bit long, but I mean, that was a phenomenal shot with the driver. And then JC's uh, over there to the left. That's it. It's coming in hot, hit it. That's it. All right. Nice Beast key got a nice read on that. Coach is coming straight downhill, so this is kind of tricky because the ocean is behind him. So you think it wants to pull that way, but it's definitely downhill. Okay, this needs to settle down a little bit. Not too bad. Great speed. Wow, is that good? Great speed. Excellent. Yep. Little peek through, look up. Oh my god, dude. Come on, break! Give it to him. Oh! Dude, I thought that was for sure gonna go away. Yep, yep, boom. Oh, Alright, good par. Nice yeah, pot. Nice well done. Mike. Yep, great par. So, middle of winter, 70 degrees, middle of Tory. This is unbelievable. Anybody that's a tourist, you got some awesome cliffs in the background. We were driving up earlier. That's the area that you can hike all the way down to the beach and around. One of the most scenic hikes you'll probably ever do. Um, this is why we come out here. It's just such a treat to have this in San Diego and what they do for the residents on a discount's amazing. So come out here for a price of 60, 70 bucks and play a round of golf on a PGA Championship golf course is pretty special. Yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the video. Hit a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Coach is making a couple pars, so why don't we show him some more? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, just try it out here. Thanks to JC for taking the day off to play some golf with us. I know he's got a few fans, uh, you know, on the golf holics, so it's uh, always a pleasure having him out here, and uh, we're having a great time. That's it. All right, we'll see you back for part three.